New York State declares a manufacturing plant in Ontario County poses a significant public health and environmental threat. Regulators cite groundwater found to be contaminated with organic chemicals. The site is the GW Lisk plant in Clifton Springs. Isabel Garcia joins us in the studio with concerns from one neighbor living directly behind that plant. Isabel. Yes, good evening to you, Teresa. The GW Lisk main facility is considered to be the hot spot or source of contamination of these volatile organic chemicals. And one neighbor who has lived in Clifton Springs for four decades tells us she now has urgent questions. According to the New York DEC, the main facility of GW Lisk's manufacturing plant is contaminated with elevated levels of chemicals outside of state standards. The chemical found, trichloroethylene, which is described as a volatile colorless liquid organic chemical, or TCE. Levels were found to be 370 times greater than state standards in overburdened groundwater and 70 times greater in bedrock groundwater. We don't know how long the vapor has been in the air and was the contamination more recent or does it go back decades and is this vapor um, creeping into our residential areas. Denise Morphy has lived in her house on Broad Street for 40 years. It sits directly behind the GW Lisk main facility. She tells me she's had ongoing concerns since at least last year when there were vapors emitting from the building giving off unpleasant smells. Now, in terms of the TCE contamination, a DEC review of a draft remedial investigation report by GW Lisk states that type of chemical can move into the soil vapor, which in turn may move into overlying buildings and affect the indoor air quality. My concern is how far does that vapor trail go and when I walk out my door, do I, is the air contaminated? If I'm in my backyard, is the air contaminated? So these are real concerns. Now, as far as next steps go, according to the DEC, the company may develop what's called a remedial action work plan, which would describe how it plans to address the contamination. For now, reporting in the studio, Isabel Garcia, News 8. Isabel, thank you. News 8 reached out to GW List for comment. We have not heard back. Last month, the federal government proposed a ban on TCE to protect the public from a toxic chemical known to cause serious health risks.